This is Jackie, and I'm here with the gentleman of the main here uh, at the Baltimore Stop and Progress Tour. Um, you guys have been a band for 10 years now. Happy 10th birthday, 10th anniversary. I'm not sure what, which the phrase is. Um, describe the evolution of your sound throughout 10 years. I mean, that's, that's some good longevity. Um, man, I, I think um, just for us, every time when we are working on music, uh, it, it's trying to do something uh, different, I guess, to, to challenge ourselves. So I, I guess over, over the course of 10 years, we've tried to do that a lot. Um, we were talking about it the other day. Um, we were able to, in our shows, play songs that are drastically different um, in styles and, and go pretty seamlessly uh, in between them. And I think that's just from constantly uh, um, pelting our fans with uh, new, new uh, things that we want to try out. Yeah, 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 pelting. I think I don't even know if we necessarily know wh what how w we would describe our sound, and right. I think that that's kind of what he's alluding to is like expanding the perception of of our sound and and how people digest it and the way that we present it. So at this point, I, I it's still a mystery to us, but we're just fortunate that we've been able to do five full lengths at this point. Yeah. Uh, it's also Twitter's 10-year birthday and anniversary. How do you guys, how have you seen technology and social media evolve uh, with your career, kind of right with it? Well, we're still big, uh, John likes to talk about this a lot, we're still big MySpace advocates. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, I don't know, it's, I'm not sure. It, it's, we're, we're advancing at such a rapid pace that it's, I guess unless you're on the edge of it all, it's really hard to, like, even for me, it's hard to conceive. Like, I can't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're constantly trying to stay uh, with things to, um, yeah, just, I, I feel like it's always kind of uh, been changing for us. We've always been uh, able to use uh, social media and things like that. Um, but it's definitely a balancing act, you know? It's like, yeah. I don't know. It, how much of yourself do you want to give away? You know, and that's like the really, that's how I view it. And I, I don't necessarily think anybody deserves nor should care about what we're doing in the back lounge before the show. You know, like the mystery, where has it all gone? You know, it's like if there's a camera in front of your face every single second, like, I don't know, the luster of, of, of like being a part of something so neat like a band it kind of rubs off so I you know and I think that's the great thing is everybody can utilize it in their own fashion so um, we're just we, you know we just try to figure out what it is that we'd like to reveal and and you know I guess do that on a daily basis yeah, it like changes as we yeah different things. so I mean you know when the future record whenever we just start you know, decided to start recording that. Um, I don't know. We might change it up, and because you never know. Like a, anybody ten years ago would have said that MySpace will never fade away. You know, and it's like then Facebook came, and um, yeah, no, things come and go. Who knows where we'll be by the time we, uh, yeah. you know, do something again? Yeah, it's in like we'll just all have like cameras strapped to <laughs> us, and we'll just be live streaming our lives. You know, and we'll just broadcast that on the internet <laughs> there is such thing as a little too much exposure yeah. um speaking of live stream you guys did do the yahoo live stream um are you i think you have found a good balance of you know what to share and what not to share we don't always know what you have for breakfast and, yeah, yeah. and that's not a bad thing yeah. um I, th I think that that's uh, i think that's a good a good line to draw are there other ways um that you guys are using technology and social media like podcasts and things like that i believe i saw uh, yeah, actually, um, we're working on uh, podcast things. Um, the Yahoo streaming was a was a great uh, way uh, to get out to fans that don't get to come out to shows, and a way for us to interact in in the way we want to, and not just showing our breakfast. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, there's there's plenty of uh, other things like that that we're trying to get into. You just you've been doing a podcast. Yeah, I tried my hand at it. It was really uh, informative. I I think for me. It, made me realize that I'm not a huge fan of, or, or, or I guess it made me recognize how much work goes into really 
creating a podcast that you know that is substantial and you know people dig so for me it was a really eye-opening experience I probably won't do it again because I like making music more um but yeah I, I, these guys actually um I mean I guess with the digital age they just got new gear that they're yeah. using on stage yeah, um, yeah. okay yeah so we, yeah we've been um i've been using a new uh amplifying head uh that's a it's called a kemper and it's a it essentially can model um different uh amps that are already in, in existence so i can use things that i can't i couldn't normally bring on the road things that were uh, yeah, delicate. when we record the record uh, records that we've done um, in the recent past, we've been using a lot of our gear, but it, it is vintage things that we don't want to bring out on the road and you can't replace. So it's a really cool way to be able to replicate that to an ex extreme degree. Um, it's bizarre. It's, I, it's I so it unbelievable. I out of the PA today. It sounds insane. I don't, that's like the stuff that I don't question. I just am in awe by, you know. Yeah, so I think we're constantly on all fronts, uh, always adjusting and, and trying yeah. to, um, yeah, make things, make technology work for us. Yeah. Way better than breakfast. Uh, on the same vein of, of not pelting too much, uh, you recently, or last year, I believe, released your EP covers, your, yeah. your side A. Mm -hmm. What's the progress of side B? They are recorded. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting on them to be mixed. And uh, I don't want to tell everybody what the songs are, but I will say that they're more, they're modern. They're modern tunes as of like the past year and a half. Right. I would say like that time frame. So the first couple ones were predominantly 90s tunes. Um, and I think it'll catch a few people off guard in, yeah. a, in a great way. I, um, I hope. I'm, 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 I'm excited about them. Um, obviously, yeah, we're still waiting on mixes, but... And with, it's it's with been all the fun. Covers that we do, we, we try to we try to approach the song as if we were writing it from all, you know our dynamic out. So the the songs will be familiar because of the lyric and maybe some of the melody, but I think they'll be more true to who we are as far as as far as the main is concerned. And what's nice is that it's not like a karaoke cover. It really yeah, is yeah. your own twist, which, I mean, not that fans wouldn't listen to it in the first place, yeah, yeah. but it gives, you know, it really gives those, those longtime fans an extra, an extra bonus. Is there a method to your madness when you pick those songs or something kind of, uh, do you try to stick within a genre or a time period? You did mention you're kind of doing more modern now. What's so hard is uh, I feel like nowadays songs come and go so rapidly and so, you know, the, the life of a song, I mean, Justin Bieber put out his record and put out however many singles, but each single was as big as the last, but then you kind of forgot about the song because it's then oversaturated, uh, so yeah. that was the, the biggest hang up, is like, what song can we pick that... It has the longevity when we're, when yeah. we're putting it then out, you know, to... Uh, we tried to remember back to why we chose Akon's I want to love you, and I couldn't for the life of me remember because we looked back and we said that we would have recorded it like six months after it was already really popular, and then six months later it came out, and nobody, it wasn't being played on the radio anymore, so we were like, I guess we used some of that as like, oh, it's not the biggest deal, you know, because right. that was already said and done, and then we put it out, and it did something for us, so... That was some of the motivation and some of kind of like the, the inspiration thinking back to, I guess, selecting the song. And Speaking of motivation, uh, your video for Steal My Sunshine. Yeah. I have watched it way more times than I would like to admit. <laughs> in my office between classes today, in fact. Very creepy. Very. Finger, glove, finger, I, I don't like understand. Horror movie -esque, I guess. Who, like just who can we blame? Who can we blame for those? We threw uh, around like five different ideas. Yeah, there were a bunch of things kind of floating around trying to replicate even the original uh, video. Um, that was the initial idea. Like in the, they like are on, I don't white know beater remember, shirts like and roller skates yeah. and go peds and whatever and bikes um, like on Venice Boulevard. Oh, come on. Those, the hoverboards would have been genius. Yeah. And the ac more like the accident footage See, from that. But what we were thinking is like not many people even are, are hip to the, the song. And, you know, that song was like even a stretch for right. some of us when I was like, hey, we should do this song. They're like, I don't really remember that one. Um, 
so we figured we, we didn't want to like go overboard and try to do exactly what Len did. Um, so there yeah, was the I idea of just Garrett like sunscreen kind of and like threw together part of that idea. And yeah, I, our manager Tim ran with that yeah. and boy, did he, Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was so fun to shoot too. We were like all laughing hysterically the whole time and, Oh man! Anytime you see anybody like putting their head down, it's just because they couldn't. They couldn't be looking together, up yeah. anywhere. Yeah, we couldn't hold it together. It was yeah. so funny, and cold. It, it was. It was, was chilly. <laughs> Any plans to play that uh, on tour, or have you yet? Uh, we haven't yet. Have not yet. Um, and Derek's out on the tour, so I don't know. That's why, why I asked. We should. <laughs> we um, we've been kind of like rotating um, a couple songs every night, and we've been putting it on Twitter to see what people vote for. Um, so now that we're kind of, I mean, we're like a week or so into the tour, um, we'll have more ample time, like before uh, sound check, to like work it out. So, mm -hmm. not yeah, not no, not definitely, but a definitely maybe. So you're saying there's a chance. There is a chance. And you hinted uh, just a little bit about perhaps writing new music. Are you guys starting that, or just sort of enjoying the in between right now? Um, there. I've already started a little bit, but it's more so excess from what was the last record. Um, it's more so just been a lot of conversation. Yeah. We've been kind of really talking about what we're going to do. So I think once this, this tour is finished, that's when the first round will actually start, and then we'll go from there. Excellent. So, you know, there's, there's a future. Yeah, um, yeah. So I told you a little bit uh, about our site again, and we merge music with the social causes and charities that bands support. Tell me about some of the charity work uh, and groups that you've been working with in the past. Well, uh, we, yeah, we recently did a, uh, a comp, like we're part of a compilation for Keep Abreast. Um, Actually, one of those tunes from the covers is on there um, with Brandon from the Technicolors, who just joined up yesterday yeah. on the tour. Um, I mean, there's plenty of stuff that we have cause to believe that needs to be changed, um, but nothing like really set in stone. Um, we definitely have opinions and we definitely <laughs> believe in things. So there's definitely a lot of stuff that we'd like to get involved with. And I've been saying it for a while, but I think that having a stance, at least on something here in the near future, is really important with, you know, a new record or anything. Just uh, we're so fortunate that we have the platform and right. we feel like we definitely will utilize it we just need to focus in on a, on, on, something. on something that's proper for yeah. us yeah so you know finger gloves focus a whole, yeah, a whole yeah. lot a whole lot of a little bit of everything yeah. stay tuned for a lot more from the main this is Jackie thanks to in the key of change